Hi creators, today we're going to look at a couple of effects that can be easily done in DaVinci Resolve 15. And first is the freeze frame, and I'm going to show you a couple of ways to do that. And second is a speed ramp, which is really cool in DaVinci Resolve 15, and that's really automated, so I'm going to show you how that works as well. So let's get started. Okay, so we'll start with placing a clip into our timeline. And I just have a shot here of a gentleman uh, taking a tee shot. And sports are always really good to do different uh, speed effects with. So I will start with looking at a freeze frame with his shot. So he has his backswing here. We can see his club head. So one way to do a freeze frame is, okay, I'm going to select the clip, hold down the Alt key, drag it up into a new uh, video in our timeline. So we have a duplicate and I will right click on the actual second clip. And up here there's an option to change the clip speed and I will check that. And we have some options now in this dialog box and I can just check the box that says freeze frame and confirm to change it. And so now as we scroll through here, at that point, it's going to just be a freeze frame of wherever my playhead was. We can delete the first part because it automatically trims it, press backspace. And so it's going to just keep that location. I can stretch out that image as long as I want and I can manipulate it and do other things, write text on here, whatever I want to do. That's one way to do a freeze frame. And I'm just going to go back and I'll show you a second way, which is really kind of cool. And so I'm going to add this in by doing a speed ramp as well. So I have the, the clip selected. I will right click on the video. And this time I'm going to select Retime Controls. I can also press Control R. And so now we see something different on our video. We have these little arrows at the top that's showing us Retime is active. And so we also have this 100% down here, and this gives us some different options. So if we click on to this 100% pull down here, there are some different options, and we can do a freeze frame, and I'll, I'll go ahead and do that first. So let me, let me line up my shot here again. There's his back swing. Pull this down, and I'm gonna say freeze frame. And now it's going to give me two locations of these timeline bars that we can actually change the uh, location. And so up, up to this point, we're going to have 100%. And then it's a freeze frame. And I can drag this as long as I want. It automatically stretches my clip. And so this is a little bit longer. And then it goes right back into 100%. So that's kind of neat. I'm going to undo that. And so back to the retime controls, I'm gonna step right into the speed ramp now. So I'll just play this clip so you can see it. It got full speed. So now we'll go back into the, the pull down again by left clicking on our mouse button. And this time I'm gonna press or click the option speed ramp and I can go up or down. So starting from the start, it's going to go up from 0% to 100% if I select this option. If I select this, it'll start full speed and it will ramp down to 0%. So I'm gonna select the first one. And so now automatically it places some markers, controls into our, our timeline. And so you can see these pull downs here, 100%, 30%, 50, 70, 90. And so let's just play that. So it's gonna start kind of slow and it'll be a little smoother when you render. Um, so here it goes and it's going to ramp up and then full speed right at the end there. And so what's kind of neat is you can add and layer on these controls. So let's go back to his backswing again. And so say I still want to get my freeze frame at this location. I'm going to pull down this location here and I'm going to say freeze frame. And now I have an extra clip or an extra set of markers in there that it freeze frames. So let's play that 70% freeze. 
and then back to 70 a little bit and 90 and I can move these markers around however I want and I can change these speeds. So say I wanna do this and I'm gonna bump this up to 150. We're gonna just get crazy here. Um, and let's do another one here just so you can get the effect. We probably wouldn't do it this way, but I'll just go a little crazy here. So now let's play that clip. So we're gonna go slow, really fast. 50%, 70%, freeze, 150%, 90%. Nice, so what else can we do with these retiming controls? We can drag any of these control markers and slide them and DaVinci Resolve will automatically change the length of the timeline clip. And you can see those percentages of the clip speed changing as we dynamically change those markers, which that's really cool. Another thing we can do is we use the left click pull down, we can rewind the clip within our timeline controls. So just like the freeze frame, we can get a rewind effect. It'll just stop it at that timeline marker and reverse it. So right after the rewinded clip, it will play again at whatever the timing is set in the timeline controls. Another thing we can do is if we use any of the pull downs in the timeline controls and click on reset clip, it will automatically change the clip back to the original state. So we get rid of all of those timeline markers and so you can undo that if you did that my mistake. Next, we can go into these individual sections and we can clear the points. And so if we, it'll just stretch it out and change the time of that, those two clips that were combined. And we can actually add speed points in there. If we do the same thing, set your uh, playhead marker in any position you want, pull that down and, and say add speed points. Let's take a look at this. We can get some good effects going forwards and backwards and doing some freeze frame. And so there, there's, there's quite a few things we can do. As you can see, DaVinci Resolve 15 allows a lot of retiming editing done very quickly. Um, we don't have to set all those points manually and then change things as we go. You can kind of dynamically move things and reverse and time freeze very fast in Resolve, which is really great. So if you like this video, just give it a like. And if you like our channel, please subscribe. That way I know I'm doing something well and it'll encourage me to put out some more videos for you guys and hopefully you can learn uh, some of the things that Resolve does. Thanks a lot for watching.